Good morning, folks. Breakfast time. advantages of camping in winter time. No, nope. it stays fresh for four days. As does raw meat. So the final verdict on the uh, birch tap test. I've actually drunk. There was only a mouthful in there. I just drank it a second ago. I think um, 
spiral which is the correct term by the way that is actually working it goes it's half full it's uh oh, folks. It's really i'm um, not running very fast though normally uh runs like way faster than that i've had taps where i've got like you know like two liters a day easy but i think it's just too late in the season to be honest although i don't know that seems weird anyway i'm gonna guzzle that later so beds all nicely positioned supports are all in side wall all complete oh, look at my hat on trademark hat um next job is to rake up all these lovely leaves and get them on this back wall although i might have to do a bit of them tart around with this fruit net so fruit net you say that's not very bushcraft andy and you're right <laughs> but uh, the alternative is to find some nice little fine young spruce branches a bit like those ones actually but it's not enough normally if you were making a true debris shelter completely natural materials that's what you would use for the webbing but um no nah. <laughs> again the fruit net is mostly for expediency it just works way better there's one actually underneath and then there's one actually over the top which holds the leaves in place and stops them getting blown Smithereens sort of thing. Um, but yeah, just uh, the thing with using s spruce branches as well is you end up with millions of needles inside your top, inside your shelter, which I don't like. There's a really weird thing happening here. It's a complete optical illusion because of the angles not proved this but I'm pretty sure when you look at this from a different angle like there for instance it makes it look like all the supports are like aren't square with the ridge like, with the ridge pole well they aren't even up and down I mean, the ridge pole's not straight obviously but it's bizarre it looks like I've put them all squint I haven't I can guarantee you they're all straight it's bizarre right Fix this webbing. Spend the rest of today raking these up. Joy. Well, that took a million times longer than longer than I expected it to do. But I've got webbing all the way up the side. Netting. The leaves ain't going nowhere. Uh, same on this side, all patched right in. That'd be good. Just need to get some leaves right now. Well, oh, goodness knows how much I'm going to get done now before it's dark. Let's see how we go. for tonight. It's getting dark. I'm knackered. Finish it in the morning.
Ana. Hey guys, <laughs> we're off me all packed ready to go. Final tour. Uh, it's looking really nice. It's all solid, bomb proof. I didn't replace all those supports because some of them are actually alright. Plus, I didn't actually have enough material with me, so I may well have to come back to that one at some point in the future. Um, <clears throat> and then the back's looking quite nice. Actually, Good on some more leaves, but I'm um, quite happy. It's pretty good cover. It's not a convention, it's going to be waterproof though. Just by the, the new angle of the back wall, it's just quite a bit different to what it was. It's much lower. <coughs> I keep hitting my head on the ridge pole because I'm used to it being so much higher. <laughs> Funny. Uh, yeah, and it's all I messed around quite a bit, patching up. These nets, uh, but I think it was worthwhile to be honest because uh, those leaves are going nowhere no matter how windy it gets. So yeah, pretty good mission. So I'm just gonna head home now and have a nice coffee. <laughs>